Hey guys, this is Bob Hickman. It is so good to be back with all of you. Well, I promised you, new month, we get horoscopes in. So it's beginning of September. We're going to go around the zodiac wheel. For those of you who are new to my channel, every month we do horoscopes. Uh, these are my own creation. I don't steal them from anybody. Um, you know, I look at kind of the transits that are going on throughout the month. And that's how I evolved my horoscope. So I'm glad you're here. Anyways, before we get into all the signs, and by the way, for those of you who are new, uh, every month we cover every single zodiac sign. So whoever you are, you'll get a reading. So you might be somebody tuning in saying, I just need a little direction, kind of get a sense of the month. Maybe you can't buy a private reading. The horoscope's a wonderful way to kind of get a little snapshot. So I'm glad you're here. Anyways, just some interesting trends I wanted to note. Um, the beginning of September here, we started off with the moon being in Leo. And I like Leo because Leo is vivacious energy, it's creative energy. Let's go out and get them energy. It's powerful energy. And interestingly, the last day of the month, September 30th, the moon comes back into Leo. So it's like the moon is going full cycle. And I think that Leo theme is going to be very prominent throughout the month. So I just want to bring that up to you. Okay, also another interesting trend is around mid-month, 14th and 15th, we're in Capricorn. Capricorn is kind of when energy starts to move, people start to pick up their energy, things get rolling. So if you're feeling a little stuck, watch around mid-month, you've got some extra boost coming in through Capricorn, moon being in Capricorn. So anyways, just keep that in mind. All right, well, we're going to go around the big zodiac wheel. We're going to start at the top with Aries. And Aries is March 21st to April 19th. By the way, just listen. If you don't know what sign you are, I'll give the birth dates after the sign. And if your birthday falls in those dates, that's your sign. So Aries, March 21st to April 19th. You know, Aries, right now there's a lot of energy present here for you to kind of take charge of groups of people. Aries are going to feel like everybody around them is running around chaotic. Um, there's going to be a lot of mixed messages this month. So for Aries, you're going to have to kind of step into leadership role and bring everything back into control. Uh, Mid-month also, as we were talking about Capricorn energy, very good time for career transition for Aries. Uh, also, Aries, you may want to watch because around the end of the month here, there's a lot of energy present for relationship energy. So if you're looking to start in that special relationship, after the 15th, you'll start to see some energy pick up there. Uh, good, strong energy all four weeks for, for job prospects, particularly, again, around mid-month. Your key word this month, Aries, is transform. Transform those around you and transform yourself. All right, our next sign is Taurus, April 20th to May 20th. You know, Taurus, right now um, you're getting a lot of different opportunities, a lot of different offers from a lot of different sectors. Uh, September for you is very much a month of how to organize, how to get everything in, in, uh, in a sense of balance right now. You're going to find that in the career area here, there's a lot of energy for you also uh, for the first two weeks up through around the 15th. From the 15th onward, it looks like the energy around Taurus is going to be shifting. It moves more into emotional and spiritual energies. So if you're a Taurus, you want to do kind of a spiritual retreat from the 15th to the end of the month. Very strong energy is present. Also around Taurus highlights this month, energy connected to real estate issues. So if you're a Taurus, you want to buy a house. This month also very strong energy. Do a move, anything around that. Your key word this month, Taurus, is balance. Okay, Gemini, May 21st to June 20th. You know, Gemini's September for you is very much a month about celebration. It's very much about goal achievement. And Gemini's have energy all four weeks to kind of tackle those tasks that have been outstanding. If you're a Gemini and you've been thinking, well, I want to kind of get the work, work on that paperwork to get my new job change, go ahead and start it now. As we go through all four weeks, the energy is building around that. Geminis are also going to find this four weeks very good in the relationship area. A lot of people being drawn to Geminis. They're going to be really feeling a sense of um, in the flow with the people around them. So if you're a Gemini, very good time for social energy. Also highlighted social activities connected to career advancement. So Geminis, you got uh, kind of all favors on your side. The stars are working for you this month. Your key word this month is dance. Okay, our next sign is Cancer, June 21st to July 22nd. You know, Cancers, you guys have a deep artistic theme going on. You always do. 
Uh, this month it gets highlighted, particularly as I was talking about that Leo energy. This Leo energy works around cancers right now to kind of inspire the launch of creative uh, efforts. Uh, Jim, excuse me, cancers have a lot of energy for creative writing, also writing that leads to publishing. So if you're a cancer, you may want to get your ideas on paper, use that Leo energy, and launch forward on your work. Uh, looks very good also around cancers for relationships from the 20th onward to the end of the month here. Uh, that's where that energy and the emotional for relationships starts to come back into balance. First three weeks really focus on the creative aspect. Um, around cancer, there's also energy this month that's connected to um, introspection, but it's an introspection that then manifests in the outer world. So all those ideas about that creative writing, pick them up, run with it. Your key word this month, cancer, is create. Okay, Leo, July 23rd to August 22nd. You know, Leo's um, right now energy around you is very much about pushing forward in career. Uh, you, uh, this is a strong month as you begin with Leo and you end with your sign. So this is kind of Leo's month of power. Uh, Leo's energy for that is very highlighted, will manifest very strongly in the career area. Promotions, uh, advancement, job changes, the predominant energy for you guys this month. Also relationships show up here mid-month also very strong. Uh, Leo's may have this kind of sense in mid-month about kind of like feeling restless. It's kind of like, you know, should I date one person or should I date 20 people? Uh, if you're a single, um, you know, Leo right now, go ahead and date them all. Uh, you'll sort it out quick enough and as you get to the uh, month, you should be in a better place to make a final choice in relationship matters. Also for Leos, for those of you who are married, uh, mid-month with that Capricorn energy definitely uh, shows energy about getting marriages back on track and moving forward. So if you're hitting some blocks there relationship-wise, mid-month is the time for you. Well, in your key word this month, Leo, is lead. Be a leader. Okay, Virgo, August 23rd to September 22nd. You know, Virgos, right now you're at a crossroads. Virgos are at this place where they're ready to take the next step. And if you're a Virgo and you're feeling kind of like, well, I want to go ahead and put myself out there, maybe in a job area, really it shows um, the first two weeks is very strong for Virgos for that. Um, after the mid-month, Virgos are going to start to step up in the other areas. So if you're like getting kind of shy but want to ask that special person out, as we're going to get around 15th onward to the end of the month, that's where energy shifts and Virgos will be able to step forward and bring forth their best self for relationships. So first half of the month for you guys is business, second half of the month is relationships. Also highlighted around Virgos this month are energy connected to spiritual pursuits. Um, if you're a Virgo and you've been wanting to kind of uh, join a meditation group or join a new church or try out some new spiritual journey, this month also it's very much highlighted for you guys. Um, so be open to that and go for it. Your key word this month, Virgo, is evolve. Okay, Libra, September 23rd to October 22nd. You know, Libras, right now you're on a journey. This is the time for spiritual work for Libras. All four weeks very much around Libra uh, is very much connected to launching on your spiritual pursuits. Uh, Libras may find this month that the career side of things is a little slow. Uh, as a Libra, you may be feeling like, I'm just not hitting marks in the career area. Don't worry about it. October's coming. That'll be a better month for you. But for Libras this month, the energy is very much about making that spiritual pilgrimage. If you're a Libra, you've been thinking, gee, I want to go to Spain and walk the Camino, you might want to seriously consider that. Or you don't have to go that far. How about having a retreat in your own backyard and doing a week of journaling? Take a week off and journal and, and rediscover your spiritual connection. Very strong energy for that. As I said, not a lot of strong energy in career, but don't quit your jobs, don't give up because October's coming. Uh, relationships for Libra also this month may show a little bit of struggle here. I don't get a lot around until about the last two, three days here of the month. Uh, around that time, you guys will then start to reconnect. You may be feeling this month's a lot more introspective work, and that would go along with your spiritual journey. Your key word this month, Libra, is journey. Scorpio, October 23rd to November 21st. You know, Scorpios, you guys um, are coming into your artistic phase. 
uh, Scorpios are going to be feeling very inspired this month to take on new tasks, new projects. In the work area, Scorpios may be feeling very bold in launching new initiatives. Energy around that shows them very positive. Again, remember, mid-month Capricorn energy gets things going. So even if the first two weeks of the month you're feeling like you're just hitting some walls, by mid-month your creative aspect should actually take a tangible form that will manifest. Also, Scorpios, um, for those of you who are looking to do marriage, the second half of the month shows very strong energy around grounded relationships and moving into more permanent situations. So if you've been kind of seeing somebody on and off, you're thinking, should we make it more permanent? After mid-month, shows that that energy starts to solidify for Scorpios to move forward. So take that mid-month Capricorn energy and launch it in the emotional area. You're going to have a good month here, Scorpio. Your keyword is create. Sagittarius, November 22nd to December 21st. Um, you know, Sag, is right now um, you're in your phase of, of um, it's like starting over. Sagittarians may be feeling like this last few months, some of the stuff they've been working on has kind of hit a dead end, and they may have to take a new direction. Not to worry. Sagittarius, you're giving energy right now for really launching forward in a new path, new direction. Sagittarius may literally do a 180 this month. And that's okay because you're going to be heading in a direction that better serves you. If you're a Sagittarius and you're feeling like you're just hitting that wall and you're not moving forward, turn and go the other direction. Uh, relationships show throughout this month also the same sort of pattern. So in work and in relationships may require an about face, not to worry. It looks like that change puts you back on the right course. Um, also highlighted for Sagittarians this month is energy connected to uh, financial growth and financial planning. So if you're a Sagittarius and you've been thinking about, you know, work on 401k or looking for stock investments, good time also to visit financial broker and get that underway. So take charge of your finances and start all that moving. You're going to have a good month. Your, uh, your key word this month, Sagittarius, is build. Okay, our next sign is Capricorn, December 22nd to January 19th. You know, Capricorns, you're getting in touch with your psychic self, your psychic side. Um, Capricorns may have a kind of almost a compulsion to start reading tarot, reading the runes, uh, you know, studying spiritualism. If you're a Capricorn, be open to those spiritual influences. And let those work for you. Take those in on your journey. You know, Capricorns, your energy is very much about jumping forward. You guys tend to move through things fast. So that energy indicates that you could do a lot of spiritual development real quickly. You know, some people would take them a month to learn the tarot. You can get through it in a day. Uh, you know, I'm not saying you have to rush it, but Capricorns have that energy. And that's the energy that's working for you guys this month. Um, also highlighted here around Capricorns is issues connected to travel. Uh, so if you're a Capricorn, you're looking to do some journeying. Uh, you may want to combine that with that spiritual energy and do a trip to some place where there's a spiritual fair or some type of learning and make that happen this month for you. Uh, your key word this month is divine, such as in divination, divine your journey. Aquarius, January 20th to February 18th. You know, Aquarius, right now you're standing on the edge of a new launch here, a new beginning. Aquarians this month are going to be feeling very much an energy about stepping forward and making things happen and bringing transformation. There's a lot of spiritual energy here around Aquarians also for being in touch with the inner self, the spirit world, and deeper self-communications. Uh, if you're an Aquarius, also highlight around relationships this month. Also, again, watch mid-month. Capricorn energy starts to open up communications with that special someone. So if you got your eye on somebody, you're feeling a little shy, don't know how to approach them. Now mid-month, you'll get the courage to leap off into that and make that happen. And as we go through the end of the month, Aquarians will find greater communications, better friendships, more relationships. Your key word this month, Aquarius, is fly. All right, our next sign is Pisces, February 19th to March 20th. You know, Pisces, interestingly, um, you guys are also running into your spiritual uh, journey place, kind of like the Libras. Uh, you're in a very much a place right now where you're starting to um, discover that inner voice. You always hear it, but a lot of times, you know, it's a Pisces, you get 
distracted by the outer world, those toys that you want to play with. Um, anyways, Pisces, take your hobbies this month and use that to further your journey. For example, Pisces many times are drawn to sparkly jewelry and shiny things. So if you're a Pisces, buy some jewels and use them for divination. This will open up you on your journey and allow you a greater spiritual experience while at the same time having fun. Pisces, remember that your journey doesn't have to be always serious. It can be a lot of playfulness because Pisces relate to a lot of play energy. Also highlighted this month, Pisces, in terms of career, um, last week of the month is strongest for Pisces. That's where you've kind of got all your divination sorted out, uh, you've connected to your spirit, and you'll be able to kind of launch that in a career, uh, in the career area. For Pisces, there's a lot of energy also this month about starting your own businesses or moving in a more independent direction. So if you're a Pisces, you've been thinking about that. You know, as we get further in the month, towards the end, that Leo energy kicks in and gives you that power to kind of launch forward in business areas. Looks very good. For relationships also, Pisces, you're the, the, the sign that probably wears your heart on your sleeve the most. Uh, and you're going to be feeling all that attention this month. So as Pisces, a lot of attention and romance, a lot of attraction. Interestingly, you as a Pisces, you have a lot of people paying attention. You may not be in the mood. You might want to play with your jewelry and do your divination. But that's okay. They won't leave you. They'll still be there. And as you get to the end of the month, you may start to want to be drawn back into that. It's a good month for you guys as well. Your key word this month is pray. Pray and connect. Anyways, guys, listen, there are your signs for September 2013. I'm so glad you're here at Spirit Channel. Listen, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We'd sure love to have you. And for those of you who've been here a long time, I want to say thank you to all of you for your wonderful support being here. And uh, we're trying to get things back on track here at Spirit Channel, so I did promise you horoscopes. And uh, we'll have more coming in the coming days. Thanks for being here. Keep watching, keep attuning to the stars, hearing the spirits. Blessings to you all.